Hey there, my name's Scott, and these are both shaved ice machines made by Great Northern Popcorn. And this video is going to be a quick review of both of these. I'll compare them as well so you can figure out which is the best machine for you. Um, this one is the ice cub, and this one is the snow cub. So I'll walk through the durability, how they're made, um, the quality of the snow, and then how to use them as well. Durability-wise, I think both of these machines are pretty much, uh, they're very similar. The outside is all plastic housing. Um, most of your components on the interior are metal. You have a metal plate that the ice sits on. Um, this part that comes down, that's all metal with uh, sharp spikes on it. Um, the piston or the threading, this big long uh, screw here, um, that's all threaded with metal as well. They're both pretty easy to use as far as turning this um, to push down to sit on top of the ice. And then if you're not familiar with these, how it works is you put a block ice in here and it spin, it shaves it down. I'll show you how that works in a quick second. Both have here on the front, this is where your dial, which is where you turn um, your angle of your blade and then a little plastic piece where it sits in where the ice will fall into. Uh, the difference is, is that uh, where the switches are, the on-off switch. The ice cub, your on-off switch is here in the very front. So you do that and I'll turn it on. And then for the snow club, your on-off switch is over to the side. So I'd have to turn it off from there. The other difference with it is the, the guard. So this, as you see on the snow cub, the guard is just a door that's hinged that will open and close that you can bring it out. Whereas this, you can um, take it, you take it completely on or off. It just slides out like that. Now, another difference that comes with using this is that the snow cub has a, a safety feature built into it. This will not turn on unless this door is closed. You see, I'll go hit the switch now and see it won't turn on. Whereas on the ice cub, without that plastic piece on, it'll still turn on. See that, and then we'll back over here to the snow cub. If I close it up, then it'll turn on. So there's a little bit of safety built in to, uh, to help you with that. Now, one of the most important things is the quality of the snow that comes off. So I'll show you both of them. So on the ice cub, uh, you see a little bit of block of ice in, and here's what the snow looks like coming off. See, so it's a good, light, fluffy snow that comes out of that machine. And then the same for the snow cub. I'll go ahead and shave a little bit of ice on this as well. See, that also comes out as very light, fluffy snow. It's an overall summary of both machines. I really don't think you can go wrong with either one. In my opinion, the most important thing is the quality of the ice. So you see both of them had very similar ice quality. Now, if I were to pick one or the other in a shop, I would go with the snow club. Um, the main reasons for that is because uh, it's a little bit easier to load by opening and closing this door versus sliding this open all the way. And I like as well, the top has this little cone that hides your, your kind of ugly little spindle thing here. So I think it looks a little bit better. Um, but if this is about the same price, you know, either way, you can't go wrong with either one of these things. The other thing I just mentioned as well is these are great starter machines. If you're looking, if you're going to work in a busy shop, um, these will la these will get you going. We own a shaved ice business and we use these machines to get us started. But after a while, we upgraded to a little bit more of a commercial grade machine and something that should last for a really, really long time. That being said, we use these for events. They're nice and light. They're not too hard to carry. So overall, these are both great shaved ice machines. And if you're looking for something to get you started, or if you're looking for something to do at you know, a little events or church events or different things you're doing for fun, these are both excellent machines for you to use.